Memes, I'm sure you've seen tons of them. Are you curious on how to create a unique one in a way when you're actually kind of not really funny, but you want to post something relative to your brand or just for the heck of it? We're gonna get right into that. Coming right up. What's up everyone, my name is Sean Azar, your digital marketing expert and entrepreneur. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to create a meme, a unique meme that you could post and be relatively funny, provide a little bit of humor in your brand or whatnot, whatever your goal is, but to spice it up. Do you really need to be a comedian? Not necessarily, I know I'm not, but I, I have a way of creating a lot of memes through my clientele and also through the channels that I've created that are considered humor accounts such as uh, do you tinder sometimes they're unique sometimes they're extracted from elsewhere and I have other accounts as well I call them those sarcastic entertainment type of channels so what's my technique when I want to create something unique the way I like to consider a meme or any anything constructive is just like it's like almost like a math problem you're solving something right you're taking one piece and you're taking another piece and you're combining it if it fits does that make sense it probably doesn't so I'm gonna show you an example of how to create a unique meme that could be outstandingly funny maybe for you or for for somebody but let me show you the process of going about it so here since Instagram is flooded with humor accounts let's just go to an existing humor account so I found one posted actually by the famous account fuck Jerry so this is where it gets a little tricky you got this saved it. I like the image maybe I could find another text to add upon it or if you're very creative you just could know what could you put on top of that. What I like to do is I'll find something else maybe very similar that gets me the right idea that's very short and sweet because you gotta be short in a post to be funny and shareable and relatable. So that's the goal here. So what I like to do after that is look for something, I look at other accounts, what has gone kind of viral that will match that post. So I scan a few other funny accounts, I go to this account called Bitches, which is obviously Bitches, but I found a good one, which is right here. I think that caption will be a great addition to the other photo. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna recreate it. So the process is, now I write the caption. I have an app called InstaQuote. You could get the full version, I believe it's like a dollar. More so it doesn't watermark it and it could look nice and uh, it looks good. And there's tons of other apps you could use. So I go to InstaQuote and then I go to a white background. So let's find a white background. So right now, over there, I put it right on top. I'm gonna save this now. Now I open up a second app called Stitch. Now I want to take the other photo with the dog, which was a little funny, the, the image that goes with the text. So now I'm at pick stitch. If you could see this real clear, I have now combined the both images. I formatted it in a correct way, and now I'm ready to save it. Now, the last thing I would like to do, just in case if someone reposts the image, and that'll be great, you get more exposure, I like to watermark it. So I'll go back to InstaQuote. I'll pull up the final image, which is right here. I'll format it in a nice way, if you could see that. I have it here. I want to erase what I had previously. And now, let's say, I'll put it on my sarcasm account. So I haven't posted there for a while. I'll make it really small. All right, I'm saving it. And now, should we post it? It's kind of a bad time to post, so you gotta know what time you usually should post. But heck, why not? Let's give it a shot. It's actually since this post is relatively good for someone getting ready, right before, depending on um, who's following the account, this is a great thing for Saturday night around, let's say, 8 p.m., where people are usually getting ready to go out. Great time to post. Again, depending on your audience. You know, the account that I'm about to post, it's relatively young kids or, and young adults that, you know, obviously go out on a Saturday night. And if you think, in the terms of what your audience is or what do they do, that's really a common thing. That's when you post. So you got to get in the mind of them. Try to think like, would you tag a friend? When would you tag a friend? When the time is relatable. So timing is pretty important if you want to get the most out of your post. I do emphasize that on a lot of videos. Timing is always important. If you talk about something seasonable or something like that, it'll get more engagement and so forth, right? Imagine you talked about, let's say for instance, if you had a joke about inauguration. Inauguration happened two months ago. It's not not gonna get as many shares if you had a, something to uh, joke about or anything, anything relatable or anything that someone could like share your video or your uh, memes. My caption is gonna be guilty as ugh. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna do a call of action, tag a procrastinator. Couple emojis there, let's make it real fun. Boom, boom, boom. 
You know what I like to do? Here's a little tip. Since I do have two accounts, which I, I have a video on creating multiple Instagram accounts, maybe I'll put it there, and it depends. It could be, this mine's humor. I have three comedy accounts. I like to link them back to each other. So if they see that post and it gets a lot of shares, they could also see I have another account, and I'll say via or CC, meaning it was maybe copied or from another uh, other account or you inspired by the other account. So as long as uh, yours is unique and you have to credit somebody. If you reposted an exact caption and you took someone's exact picture, you're supposed to credit that user where you credit them under your image. So here's my thing. I'm gonna tag my other account. I'm gonna add some hashtags. And it's posted. Let's see how it does. If it doesn't do well, maybe I'll repost it. I have a good feeling it will. Anyway, hope that example helped. If it did, thumbs up. If you wanna see more, uh, let me know. Put it in the comments below. And subscribe for more weekly videos like this if you found this content valuable. And hopefully, I'll see you soon. Catch you later. Do it if you try.